This is a message for Tom Cruise. This is V8 0657. Former Scientologist in good standing, former staff member for 10 years, former auditor, former word clear, graduate of the KTO course, graduate of the LOC course, graduate of level four internship, graduate of the full theory of the briefing course. I can't say I'm no longer a Scientologist, but I can't say I'm not in good standing with the church anymore because I got declared that I'm an SP. <laughs> oh, bro, that is so funny that an organization as corrupt as that could try and convince me that I'm an SP after having served as I did for 10 years, during which time I worked no less than 80 hours a week. And it was my ex-wife who actually called me in tears from the ethics office. This was a couple of years back. And uh, she let me know that uh, she could no longer communicate with me anymore. See, there's this thing in real life called the disconnection policy. And as soon as you become like excommunicated, no one can talk to you anymore. But that's not an official policy, is it, Tom? No, no, we, we don't do that. Tommy Davis officially remarked <laughs> famously on YouTube, there is no disconnection policy. Unless, of course, you are a Scientologist and then you know there is one. But anyway, <clears throat> it's funny, I never got any kind of like goldenrod from the church, which is the policy, right? You're supposed to be notified by a goldenrod that gets posted to the individual and posted publicly within the organization so that everyone knows they can no longer communicate with you. But it's funny, they never contacted me themselves. Now, what do you think of that? I'll tell you why that is. It's because there are so many people leaving the church these days that the ethics office can't even admit with published goldenrods how many people are getting declared. Okay, so that's, it's, that's all that's going on there. Uh, the ethics office, by the way, is like the SS in Nazi Germany, bro. Uh, I mean, you, you do see that, right? Y you know what my crime was, by the way, or so I have to conclude whatever my crime was? I put my name on the Indy 500 list, which you can get to from Marty Rathbun's website. Now, you know who Marty Rathbun is, right, Tom? He was your former auditor. He was the number two guy under Miscavige for at least 10 years. He and Miscavige worked so close for so many years, okay? Now, have you ever been to Marty's website? Okay. Uh, if you have any doubt that Marty was a real SP, how could he have been your auditor for so many years? How could you have gotten gains in auditing from a guy who was an SP? Did you ever think about that? How about the Friends of LRH website? Have you ever seen that website, Tom? You're missing out on some really, really good philosoph philosophical discussion there. Because if you go to that website and you start looking at what those guys are saying, and these are all, from what I understand, like highly advanced Scientology insiders who are being anonymous, who are trying to point out what's wrong with Scientology. How about Mike Rinder's blog, the number three guy in Scientology right after Marty Rathbun? All these guys are out, and all these guys have been declared SP. How, how could these guys be SP, bro? They're not SP. How about Karen Dela Carrier's YouTube blog, former Class 12 auditor? How would, it, how would a real SP ever become a Class 12 auditor, trained personally by LRH? Have you ever considered that? Have you ever considered how unlikely that would be? It's just unbelievably unlikely. Anyway, you got to check out her website for one reason alone. She is really, really funny beyond belief. She has a really, really good sense of humor. I laugh at loud at many of her videos. And when you consider that Scientology killed her son and made a mindless fool of her former husband. Now, when I say Scientology, I don't mean the organization. I mean one man named David Miscavige. That guy is a life wrecker. Don't you see that? How many lives has he ruined? Just think about it. It's got to be over 1,000 people's lives destroyed through either the disconnection policy or some sort of false SP declare to, pro 
protect him his own self. How about how about Debbie Cook's court testimony on YouTube? Have you ever seen the tears that she flows at the end of that testimony when she's reminded of how thoroughly she was betrayed by the guy who was the best man at your wedding? Best man at your wedding, bro. Doesn't that warrant you to do some little investigation on your own? Debbie Cook was commanding officer at FLAG during the time I was an outer org trainee at FLAG from 1992 to 1996, working seven days a week, 80 hours a week. Debbie Cook is no SP, bro. But as soon as she got close to Miscavige, what happened? He ruined her. Now wake up, bro. He didn't just ruin her. He ruined his entire exec strata. He threw him into a double wide trailer called the hole with bars on the windows and no AC in summertime. You think that never really happened? With no less than 20 people coming forward with the exact same story. Bro, SPs are supposed to be isolated psychopaths, okay? You don't get everybody telling the same goddamn story and think they all went SP, okay? You, you are such a fool, man. And let me tell you why. You never considered what Scientology would look like if a real SP ever really took over. You and every other stupid Scientologist still in good standing with the church, you're all guilty of the same crime. What would it look like if a real SP took over? Huh, let me think. Number one, he would turn it into a money-making Ponzi scheme. Well, isn't that what's happened? The superpower building they've been taking money for for 25 years in the making, and the building never even came to fruition in 25 years. They forced parishioners to buy multiple book sets for local libraries. Then you go to the libraries and you see there's no books on display. That's Ponzi scheme. That's pure fraud. Number two, make it so nobody ever really gets any auditing. The cost of auditing at FLAG is what? $5,000 in intensive? If you want to get the L's, it's $10,000 in intensive for 12 hours. Who's got money to pay those kind of prices? Nobody. Now, you could lower your price if you really wanted people to go up the bridge, but you don't, obviously. How about this? Number three, imposing set checks for no good reason on people who are on OT7. OT7 is like almost the top of the bridge. At that point, you supposedly made people into ethical beings to happy, well, human beings. Why would you need to sec check somebody on OT7 but you don't do it on the grades? The lower you are, the less sec checking you get. The higher you are, the more sec checking you get. Now, how insane is that? That's a money-making Ponzi scheme. It defies the validity of your technology because if you were really getting what you were told you were gonna get, you wouldn't need to be sex checked because you'd have been the most ethical guy straight on down line the whole time. So why am I getting more and more and more sex checking right when I'm about to go to the highest level? Could it be because you never want anybody to get to the highest level? Number four, you direct the IAS to take everybody's money so they have none left to go up the bridge. People go to ethics because they don't pay the IAS the International Association of Scientologists. You either pay them or you go to ethics. Oh my God. You are such a criminal, man. I'm talking to Miscavige when I say that. But Tom, I'm talking to you when I say you're such a goddamn fool. Five. Miscavige continuously lies about org expansion at end events. When everybody knows that kind of expansion is impossible in this down economy. Okay? In the old days, bro, there were two statistics that governed the real expansion of an org. Well done auditing hours and number of auditors made. Those two stats you don't see at any events anymore. They don't exist. You're being lied to. All you goddamn Scientologists in good standing are being lied to. And you sit there and take it like a bunch of dumb freaking cows. In closing, Tom... I just want to say one more thing to you. You were married to a beautiful young woman named Katie Holmes.
and she bore you a beautiful, vibrant baby girl named Suri. And you had it all, bro. Beautiful woman, beautiful baby, love flow happening. And you blew it, man. And you know why? Because you're too blind to see the truth that Katie Holmes herself could all too easily see. And that scared the shit out of her, bro. And you should have woken up to it. You can't tell me she didn't talk to you about it. Bro, David Miscavige is the only true SP in Scientology. And he's in control of you and so many other dumbass Hollywood actors and actresses. But I got news for you, bro. Nobody who he says is an SP is really an SP. It's him. And you better wise up, dumbass. How can you not see that for what it is? Talk to your wife and other people, man. They'll all point it out to you, okay? Idiot.